What's up, guys? How's everybody doing today? <clears throat> doing pretty good here. Thank you for asking. Well, there is no bike ride today. It's raining outside. Again. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, too. Woo! I'm about ready to move to Mars. I ain't kidding. First man to Mars. I'll take my bikes with me. I ain't kidding. So today, what I'm going to do is a little routine maintenance that I wanted to do a, a little while back, like back in December or so, or probably sooner than that. <clears throat> so, I got these tires. Got these tires December 2017. And... Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate them like you would a car. I'm going to put the front on the back, back on the front, and do a little uh, routine maintenance. It's going to take a little while. Got to let the air out. Got to take the tires off and all that kind of stuff. Remember which way they go because they are directional specific tires. And I always get confused which way my tires are supposed to go and all that stuff, so... This will be interesting. Let's do this, guys. All right, we're going to start with the front. Get it taken off. Get it all stripped down. And then we'll head out to the old back. back rooney Let's do this. Come on, now. Using muscles. Using muscles, Mike. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it, Mr. Axel? Maybe I can get my my wheel off without having to mess with my brakes. Ugh, I hate messing with these stupid brakes. Good, just taking the air out. I was able to get it out. Ugh. Now I don't know about your bike and every other bike on the planet, but this trek has like a little indention here where the wheel. I think it kind of like holds the wheel on a little bit better than if this was just all flat. So there's a little indention here. And if you try to pull the wheel up, you're just pulling against that indention. That's kind of what I was doing. Of course, I did have to let some of the air out though, or all the air out. So <clears throat> just in case you didn't know that, don't sit there and try and yank and yank and yank on the, on the wheel. Because it probably has those little indentions kind of helping to hold it on. You just got to kind of finagle the little skewer and open it up and then kind of pop it up. So, all right. Okay. All right, so we got our little tools here. Uh... I'm just going to leave the tube in there that came in it. Now, honestly, what I would recommend doing is taking the tube out, taking you a, a rag or something and going along on the inside of the tire and wiping it out. Just to make sure that maybe nothing's in there dirty or whatever. Let me wipe this lens. Boop. To, uh, you know, just make sure the inside of the tire is clear and clean. Um, I probably should do it, but I probably won't. I'm going to slack just a little bit. <clears throat> it's 
So I'm going to find the mark on here that shows what direction this thing goes. That way I got it in my mind and and uh, don't forget. So I can't remember where it's at on here. They put the teeniest, tiniest little arrows on these things. You would think they'd make them in... Uh, You'd think they'd make them fluorescent or something, you know, stand out. There's the, there's the, oh, arrow. You probably can't see it. There's the arrow. Right there, if you can see it. A lot of tires you buy will have that. So, you just got to kind of look for it. Um, I am fixing to get kind of interrupted here. Uh, my sister lives with me <clears throat> and my wife, so she's fixing to come in and, uh, I may get a little quieter because it is a little awkward talking like this with someone else in the house, so, but we'll continue getting this done. Uh, all right, we got the front wheel going. Now, let's get the back wheel off. Now we'll take the wheel off. Or now we'll take the tire off and the wheel. Just squeezing out a little more air. And the biggest thing whenever you get to this point is making sure you don't booger up the inner tube. Sometimes that can happen. All right, let's get the tire on. Make sure the rotation's right.
Sometimes you gotta put a little muscle behind this part. While I got the wheels off, I went ahead and wiped down my chain, chain rings. Don't forget the drop cloth.
Well, that's that. I'm gonna get the tires pumped up. Oh. Let's see. Yep, still raining. So that's that. Got them. Got the tires rotated again. Make sure that you check the arrows because some tires uh, have a certain way that they have to go on. So look for the arrows. Make sure you point them the correct direction. Uh, I would recommend taking out your tubes, cleaning out your tires. Uh, you can also wipe out the inside of your rims. Um, I also went ahead and just kind of wiped off my chain and then put some lube on it and lube on the rear derailleur and that and the, and the uh, jockey wheels, pulley wheels, dealios. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. I just thought I'd do another little maintenance uh, video. I've been wanting to do this one for a long time and I just kept putting it off and putting it off. So, um, and just like with a car, that will prolong the miles on your tires. Uh, so I recommend doing it maybe once a year, maybe twice a year. It just really depends. Um, I mean, it can't hurt to do it. Don't take that long. So why not save some money? So guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, trying something different here. Trying to move the camera around a little bit as I was doing it. So I hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy my video. Subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. I do it all for free. No monetization, no ads, no nothing. I do it because I enjoy it. And I hope to continue on for a long time. Uh, you guys know what my channel's about. That's what this shirt is. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it. There's depression right there. No more depression. Look at that shirt. <whistles> yeah, that's right. I made it. I designed it. Made it. I'm good. So, guys, we'll see you later. And don't forget to get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. Even when doing a bike maintenance video. So, we'll see you guys later.